Hi Aquarius and welcome to your full moon in Pisces tarot reading. This will cover the period of August 26th when the moon is full in Pisces through September 23rd, 2018 when um, we will have our full moon in Aries. So Aquarius, this is a very beautiful aspected moon. It's positive energy for everybody. Um, the sun is moving into Virgo on the 23rd of August and Virgo is the sign that takes us from summer into autumn. Autumn is the time of the harvest, reaping the rewards and full moon energy is all about, you know, the materialization, the reward, the harvest. Uh, Pisces is the 12th house, which is the house of, you know, endings and completions. So, you know, uh, there's going to be something that ends and something new that's beginning but there's a harvest and a reward this is a very positive energy so Aquarius let's take a look and see what's uh, happening for you with this Pisces full moon energy all right so we have a reflection now um, since this is what's essentially ending and changing Aquarius, whatever you know you've been really contemplating, really thinking about, really wondering about whether it's like the direction you want to take your life, um, who you want to be with, you know, just whatever. It's different for each and every one of you. But, you know, some of you this is about being introspective and reflective. Others of you this is literally about how you've been disconnected, like really feeling like a hermit, like you haven't been super social, you haven't been going out, you haven't been talking to many people, you've just kind of really been on your own, doing your own thing, whether by choice or just by life circumstance, okay? So some of you um, who have been in that deep contemplation mode, maybe undecided, just really at a crossroads, what do I do about this, etc., etc., we're finally coming out of that and we know the way forward. We know what we want. We know what needs to happen. Others of you, this is where we're coming out of hermit mode and we're going to start being more social. We might actually start having some more romance in our life if that's, you know, not been what's taking place. But no matter what, it is time to get out of hermit mode. That is what this Pisces full moon energy is doing for Aquarius. So let's see which house is predominantly being impacted and affected by this Pisces full moon energy. All right. Yeah, look at that. We have the third house, which is all about learning and communication, um, you know, short trips, things of that nature. It's all about the intellect with this third house. And, you know, for me again, that would speak to being in contemplation, trying to understand, learning, connecting the dots, all of those things. Also, because it's about communication, this could speak to the hermit and the fact that we haven't been really communicating our feelings, ourself, what's going on in our life. We've been in hermit mode, whether we've been really completely disconnected from other people or we've been in a room in a crowd yet we're not talking about what's going on inside of us we're really just keeping it all to ourselves for whatever reason and here we are finally coming out of that the communication is beginning and it's coming from a very high intellectual place because you're coming out of you know this hermit energy so Aquarius, let's see what is going on inside of you. What is shifting and changing there? Oh, nice. Look at that. We got the sun. This could not get any better. Yes, the spotlight is now shining on Aquarius. Once again, if we've totally been disconnected, whether by choice or life circumstance, that's all going to start changing, Aquarius. Um, we're speaking our truth. We're having a desire to connect and be intimate, be close, do this, do that. You no longer are going to desire to be closed off, shut off, um, disconnected, whether it's just physically or it's, you know, literally in verbal sense and emotional sense where you're not really communicating anything about what's going on inside of you. 
So very nice, Aquarius. This is great. You know, if some of you have been really down, kind of depressed, dealing with a lot of challenging energy, it's like you're finally coming into the insight and wisdom from your own soul that it gives you the relief or the permission to forgive yourself, forgive others, to let go, to move on. Finally, all the dots are connecting for you. So let's uh, dig deeper. Let's pull some more cards here. So we have deception, or I should say deceit. We have lust, and we have loyalty. So Aquarius, to me, many of you have been in a deep contemplation about like who is really on your team, who's not, who you're loyal to, and who you're not. Um, who you're just physically attracted to opposed to who you have a real connection to because we have deception and we have loyalty here and then lust kind of sits in between right so it's like hermit mode we've been really reflecting some of you may have disconnected and really pulled back because there's some things that happen that really hurt you and you felt used you felt betrayed stabbed in the back you know taken advantage of manipulated whatever the case may be could be by one person could have been by multiple people or just a culmination of different experiences that played out back to back that just really hurt you and caused you to need a time out to reflect to heal to connect the dots um decide what you want decide who you are beautiful aquarius there's great healing to this whatever really hurts you it's like it's time for all of that to dissipate and you finally have the intellectual understanding and it's not to say you didn't before it's different it's one thing to know something in your mind and understand it in that place it's another thing to get it and just feel it in your bones and know it in your bones do you know what I mean and that's like what's happening here it's just some things are making such profound sense that it's like oh okay I can let that go I can move on and some of you you've been making decisions about certain people can they be in their in your life or you know do they need to go so let's pull some Lenormand here and see what comes out there All right, look at that. Nice. We have uh, the clover. We have uh, the ring. We have the stork. Oh, beautiful. Aquarius, listen. Yes, there is new luck, new relationships, new energy, uh, new opportunities with old relationships coming around for Aquarius, okay? Um, I get the sense there are some things that have happened to you guys, whether in the workplace, in friendships, and family relationships, um, from a lover. There's just some things that happen where you felt very betrayed, uh, big time, okay? And you really pulled back. Again, some of you completely just disconnected. You, you haven't been dating. You haven't been super social. You've just really been keeping to yourself, you know, just trying to figure everything out. Others of you, you're still interacting and communicating with people frequently, but you're not really telling them what's going on under the surface or how much you have been hurting or have been confused, anything like that. And I'm telling you, this Pisces full moon energy is finally lifting that weight off of you. You're coming into this great 
uh, clarity and understanding and you know like the people who screwed you over where you're like oh I never saw that coming you're now in this place where you're like oh my god it was so obvious from day one how did I never see that coming and now because you've expanded consciously into that lesson that life lesson that can never happen to you again because now you would see it from the moment it showed its face okay because you've already been through it you know the energy you understand it um, as before you didn't okay you could be like well I've been through a similar situation you know fair enough but this particular person or situation the energy was ever just so you know a little bit different and there was more to learn about it okay so Aquarius this is like expansion of consciousness great healing um, there's some restoration to some relationships in your life we're gonna have conversations and communication some of you this is like new relationships coming into your life pulling you out of this hermit mode they are very loyal committed and true if anything I feel there this Pisces full moon energy is bringing Aquarius loyal committed and true connections and relationships um, and allies if you want to look at it that way uh, whether through job through school through mutual friends meeting new friends new meeting new romantic you know partners things like that old relationships resurfacing it's just it's like Aquarius knows who's on team Aquarius and who's not um, by the end of this Pisces full moon energy and you're okay with that like you're like I'm all right I know who my tribe is and I'm good with my tribe and those of you know that can't be a part of it you're okay with that too you're just a wiser Aquarius through this full moon and you're ready to let go of the past and just crappy people that never had your back even if you really care about them okay let's see yeah perception beyond the veil of illusion like I said many of you were like I was manipulated I was used I was tricked I was this I was that and now you're like damn I was a fool how what I can't believe I didn't see that like it's a whole different shift in perspective okay for some of you about different situations of people and again it's because you have grown and expanded and you're beyond that now and somebody couldn't play that same hand on you and win again like it just wouldn't happen you see it for what it is you see beyond the illusion okay it's just with the Sun there and the perception card um, really trust yourself Aquarius and I think you are I think you are and when in doubt you know go with the intellect don't go with the emotions when your emotions get cloudy and conflicted because you care about somebody but you're like eh, I just feel like you aren't being on the real you're not being on the up up something's off here trust yourself trust yourself remember your life experiences you've already gone through it don't need to do it again so when the alarm bells are sounding it's because you've already you already know what's up you already know so just remember that okay but beautiful shift in energy for friendships connections um, even like your romantic partnerships great healing and you just you you know who's on your side Aquarius you know who's on your side so those are your messages I am wishing you all the very best take care